Previously on the Finertainment channel, I discussed how I laid pine straw and also gave it a very clean border by blowing the edges. I explained everything in that video, so be sure to click on that and check it out. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Finners. Welcome back to the Finertainment channel. Check out these clips here. My hat has continually gotten dirty over the past couple of videos, and today we're going to wash it. Let's get started. All right, guys, here's the hat. It is very, very dirty, as you can see from the last clips and this clip here, and it started life as a black hat. Now, the white part of the 47 is still clean. All underneath is pretty clean except underneath the bill of the hat where it's pretty dirty as well. But let's get started here. First I started with purple power. It's a degreaser and I sprayed it all over the hat. Once you see the hat in the next shot here, the brown dirt is already starting to remove itself from the hat by itself with no extra work involved. Now this next process here, I'm taking like a Brillo pad or a scour pad. Usually use these for like uh, pots and pans and things. And this right here really will clean the hat real good without damaging it. And also it works great on the embroidery parts. So I'm really just giving it a good scuff over. And uh, once I have this right here done, I went ahead and rinsed it all off. All right, in this step here, we're filling one side of the sink up with warm water and we're using OxyClean as a soap to soak the hat in. Now I put about half of the container into the sink water and I put the other half onto the hat and I also started cleaning it with the scour pads as we used before. Usually you get these in like a pack or two or three but uh, go ahead and leave it in the water for about 10 or 15 minutes. Look how nasty the water is right here and how much cleaner the hat is. Once we have it to this part, we gave it a good rinse off. Depending on how dirty your hat is, you might want to repeat this step two or three times. Once you have the hat clean in the way you want it, I went ahead and took the hat and rubbed it against a towel before I go and throw it into the dryer and let it dry for about 30 minutes by itself. All right guys, let's check it out. All right. Here's the hat, secured over here to the table. Take a good look at it. So it looks a lot better. It smells like OxyClean. Uh, the whites aren't as white as I wanted it to be, but it does look better. Back here looks better, 47. As you can see here, there's still a spot in there from where the sweat stain was. But listen, I'm I'm stoked about this right here. But there it is, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if this helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the Fentertainment channel, be sure to do that. And also check out these other great videos. Until next time. We'll see you later. Bye.